So, uh, yeah, I like the more dairy-based ice cream, uh, and I'm not so sure about cilantro and ice cream. All right, the next food we're going to talk about is Jofen sweet potato and taro balls. Oh, all in, right? Yu yen, right? Oh, yeah. Yu yen. Called uh, Jofen di gua. Jofen di gua. Yu to yen. Yu to yen. Usually we just call them all in. All in. All in. Some names are all in. All in. All in. All in. <laughs> After teaching you, I don't even know how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> uh, o e. O e. There's a mm, mm sound. E. E. Yeah, o e. O e. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Good job. Want to try again? No. <laughs> Okay, so uh, sweet potato and taro balls. These are doughy balls of sweet potato and taro that are served with sweet syrup, either warm or over ice. Something tells me that this is about the consistency of the tapioca balls in the bubble milk tea. So, um, so I don't think that I would like this either. I, I know I'm coming across as like a, a stick in the mud, but I'm really picky when it comes to food. So you can find these at numerous shops in Zhou Fen. The balls are also sometimes a topping option for traditional shaved ice. Um, so Jason, what do you think about these? Shaved ice? The, no, the Zhou Fen sweet potato and taro balls. I don't find them too special though. I think they're just a tourist attraction. Okay. Uh, they just, I, I don't find them too special actually. I, I, I tried them many times and uh, well, there are some shops where you can find the, bed, uh, the OE with better taste. But I, I, I haven't tried something very special. Yeah, you, you have to try a different type of uh, different shop in order to find the best, the the legit one, you know. The, the best one, ones. Yeah, the best one. All right. the The next food we're going to talk about is fried sweet potato balls. Ooh, your favorite. Di gua chu, is that right? Di gua chiu. Di gua chiu. Okay, fried sweet potato balls. So these are balls of sweet potatoes and sometimes taro that are deep fried. Think of them as the Taiwanese answer to donut holes. Crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside. Uh, you can find them at night markets across Taiwan. Uh, Gongguan Mar Night Market in Taipei has an especially popular stall. <laughs> I like the way uh, the author said the Taiwanese answer to donut holes. Donut holes. <laughs> they are definitely not as sweet as donut holes. Of course not. Um, so yeah, if someone described them as donut holes to an American and an American tried them, they'd probably be disappointed. But um, I like fried sweet potatoes, so I think that they would be good. Just as long as, as you don't say they're donut holes, because that's a totally different thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, there must be a misunderstanding between the author and the Okay. Okay, the next uh, one is IU jelly and oh, frog's egg drink. I like it. IU jelly yeah. and frog's egg drink. Is it real frog's egg? Usually, IU can quench your thirst uh, very quickly because it, uh, it got uh, lemon juice, you know, and uh, IU jelly, which is very beneficial to your health. I like lemonade. I'm not so sure about IU jelly. Uh, but what about frog's egg? Is it real frog's egg? Uh, I just read it. I, I, okay. I don't, I don't really familiar with that. Okay, no, it's not real frog's I'm eggs. Not, I'm not familiar with that. IU is a jelly made from the seeds of a fig tree and served with lime juice and honey. Ah, yeah, he say hello teacher Eric is out here. Yeah, because we could kick him out. Oh, Eric is out here. Okay. We kick, I kick it. You kicked him out. Mm 
<laughs> okay, so a uh, frog's egg drink contains small tapioca pearls with hard white centers resembling frog's eggs. The two are often sold from the same stall. And again, you can find this in night markets and street corners across Taiwan. Uh, watch for the big frog on the sign or a huge bowl of IU jelly oh, it just looked on like display. Frog eggs. Right, they just look like frog's eggs, but they're uh, really mainly frog tapioca. Uh, contain small tapioca pearls. Oh, okay. So it's just the uh, the 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 Okay, uh, the next food we're going to talk about is Sanfeng Mountain tapioca, I guess. Mountain tapioca, okay. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the next food we're going to talk about is candied fruit or Tang Hulu. Is that right? Tang Hulu. Tang Hulu. You had to uh, stress the third. Uh, no, there are usually four tones in uh, each Chinese character. Uh, Wulu, the third, Wulu. yeah, Wu re, uh, refer to the third tone of Chinese character. Wu, uh, pronunciation. Wu, 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 ah, the second tone. Wulu, Wulu. Yes, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I know Tang means sugar. So, um, they are basically fruits that are coated in sugar. Uh, like a syrup, a sweet syrup. I have had these before. So there are skewers of candied cherry tomatoes or strawberries often with sour plum. Uh, local kids love them and you can find them at Ningxia Night Market in Taipei or Fengjia Night Market in Taichung but they are in many other different night markets in Taiwan. Um, I don't like the cherry tomatoes which is ironic because uh, I like tomato sauce uh, I eat tomato sauce and pasta all the time, but I don't like uncooked tomatoes. Uh, I only eat cooked tomatoes. Was it Eric who, you know, cursed or someone else? Maybe Eric is another one. You know, I can't remember. Yeah, uh, Eric is Eric Zeriya,我们就是很单纯的学习的地方,交朋友的地方,他请大家礼貌一下,有礼貌一点,那讲话不要跟人家随便吵架嘛,也不要动不动就骂不好听的话。Okay,这样不太好,那希望大家很快